The Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, NBS, in its latest report, says food inflation has surged to 40.87% in the month of June 2024, with prices of food and non-alcoholic beverages concurrently rising as a result of the surge. According to the Bureau, headline inflation rate in June showed an increase of 0.24% points when compared to the May 2024 headline inflation rate, linked to the continuous economic hardship in the country. In this report, Noel Sampson speaks to FCT residents and the continuous economic hardship and also gets the views of civil society members on the way forward. For some FCT residents, it is a mixed bag of feelings as the inflation rate in the country continues its steady rise and the resultant effect on their daily lives. Like my business is not moving very well. You're using a very rich of money to pay transport to purchase your goods. It affected me. Because when we bring the goods down here to sell in a cost price for people, people refuse to buy. Yeah, we, we all, everybody go to the same market. Everybody go to the same market. We buy the same, uh, it's the same price to everybody. So, but the income, is, is there are different level of income. Uh -huh. So that's just the effect. Because like, we, like I told you, when, that's the only thing that is sustaining us. When you, you, when you buy high, you sell high. When you want to buy again, you can buy high. I don't think there's much effect there. Things, you know, keep um, increasing. The prices of things in the market keep increasing. When you go to buy something today, maybe you buy 2,000 euro, and tomorrow in the, in the morning, but when you go, go there to buy the same thing in the morning, you'll be buying 3,000. And it's the same thing the, the following day, the following day, and it keep increasing, and there's no solution at our uh, side. So um, I, completely, in fact, if I, if, I, if I can have my way, I will actually leave the country. Meanwhile, these civil society representatives from the observations say they have been able to identify the problems with the economy and how they can be addressed. The system is not working. Everybody is suffering. People, in fact, have become, or people begin to lose hope in the every sector of the government, both the executives, the legislative and the judiciary. Corruption is everywhere. Inflation is everywhere. Food scarce, pool inflation is everywhere. One, you see, all this removal of these subsidies, anywhere Mr. President removes subsidies, I don't even need to listen to them, be it electricity, be it fuel prices, be it whatever it is, Mr. President should bring back those subsidies. Policies should be based on the interest of Nigerians, not interest of foreigners. So, and there's an economic team that was actually set up by the President, ably led by the Vice President of the nation. So what we are saying is, for over a year now, instead of salvaging or reducing the problems or sufferings of Nigerians, we have seen a very high uh, increase in suffering in terms of every other thing we've highlighted since. So what we are talking about is, let there be a change in the leadership of the economic team. Let's have a new economic team come on board and give it their own try. Let's see what's going to happen. But as far as we are concerned, we are no longer having any trust in the current set of economic team that the president have actually put together. Nigerians are appealing to the federal government to put modalities in place to arrest the upward trend in inflation in order to reduce the cost of living. No, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja.